Are you Jonathan Waters, bro? I don't know who that guy is. He does wear nice suits. What? No. The nigga looks just like me. Why the hell are you in this crib in the first place? And why the hell we keep saying you wearing nice suits and that's a sweater vest? You were still ignoring me. And I swore my revenge. Yeah, something's gonna go wrong for you, buddy. And that reminds me. Hey, yo, cousin, didn't you say you learned how to teleport on the internet? Oh! Alright. Told you you fucked up. Ha <laughs> ha! Unfortunately for you guys, you aren't the only ones who learned to think or two on the internet. Outside. Hey man, don't go back to sleep, man. I was joking. Got leaves in your hand, shit. Hey man, get up and help me get this thing off. You want to sleep yet, bro? Where the hell are we, bro? My guess, not Kansas. Yeah, funny. Wait, where's Jonathan Waters at? I don't know, probably still at the crib that you let him break into. Bro, we're not gonna go through this again, bro. <laughs> <sighs> Episode one or two. Anyway, look, I kinda wanna get away from you two because you look like him, but kinda tied up. So, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, but for right now, what we gotta focus on is how the hell we got here why the hell we here? And for one, damn, it's cold out here, man. We gotta, bro, we gotta go, bro. You want to sleeping on the ground? I woke up in some monkey bar type stuff. I don't know what it was. I don't know. All I know is we gotta go. <clears throat> well, get up. All right. Ugh. <sighs> oh, why, why it looks like barns a little bit? How do we even get out here? What part of Barnesville would you say this is? Cause it's still... I don't know. Looks like the woods to me. I don't know. At least from this angle. Where the hell is everybody? I don't know. Shit. I don't really care, bro. I just want to get out this fucking weather, bro. Yo, change of plans. Let's go ahead and find some clothes. And let's, let's go. I guess we can go to my grandma's house or something. We're in Barnesville. Yeah, yeah boy, I feel. You get a it's not that cold yet. Alright, let's go. <sighs> Man, thank God for it, for it being laundry day, because otherwise, how the hell am I going to buy some clothes for anybody, bro? All my shit's still at the crib, bro. You don't keep your wallet in your pocket at the crib? Bro, we was at the crib. I ain't gonna have nothing in my pockets, dog. I think I broke my phone when I fell. But you went away fast, so don't worry about it. <laughs> but it looks like we are in Barnesville, though. Yeah, looks like it. All right, so let's go ahead and head in. Let's get things popping. And let's try to figure out what the hell is going on, bro. Let's see if we can find any more info about Jonathan Waters. And the superpower that you claim to get from the internet. Still don't believe that shit, but... It's yeah. the internet. So I'm gonna go around the side and see if I can holler at Unk, cause I know he'll probably let us in, right? Alright, go. Well, oh well. Isn't it a really good day today? Fortunately for me, it sucks that those two idiots really got in my grasp. Oh well. It won't be gone for long. I'll eventually get them eventually. Hmm. Well, that's for right now. Let old Jonathan Waters enjoy this day. Hmm. 
For this to be the second most dangerous part of Atlanta, it's not too bad. A lot of trees, good nature. But I can't lose focus. Right now, I have to find those two at any cost. But, you know, tell them where those two have gone. But I know my superpower can actually help me out too. And good old Dizzy left his phone behind. Now I'll be able to do whatever he got going on. Huh. So he has a girlfriend, huh? Maybe she can tell me exactly where that boy is again. <laughs> Hello? Hey, it's been a while since I heard your voice. I haven't heard from you for a while. Yeah, I know. I had a lot of trouble things I had to take care of, but hey, I'm doing good. But hey, how are you? How are you, are you doing all right? I've been good, but what have you been doing? Sorry, let's just say that I had some loose ends to tie up. Loose ends to tie up? Something that I will mention to you later, okay? But other than that, I have a favor to ask you. And what favor is that? Why are you asking me for favors? Trust me, I shall show you all different types of apologies later. But right now, I'm talking to the leasing person to, of home woman. So, you know, I'm talking about getting the house. So, they need to know all the individuals who's going to be living in the house. So, I already told them my name. You just need to give them yours. A house? Yeah, you don't remember? We talked about getting a house, you know? Had a little picnic fix. Pets running around, babies running around. You know, the whole, the whole thing, you know. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. All right, you on speaker. Go ahead and let them know. Tasha Lamar. Tasha Lamar. Hello, I'm Jonathan Waters, and you're going to help me find your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm over here trying to get rid of the XMIT volumes 1 to 24 while I get rid of the REQ 427 while I put up all different types of gigabytes to break the bondage and barrier of the dark web. So, you're watching The Matrix? No, this is not, this is not like no movie, man. This is real life hacking, hacking abilities as you see right in front of you. So, oh. as you can see, I'm doing my thing here, trying to figure out where in the hell on the internet did you get your power from, because I looked all over on the tip of the iceberg, now I gotta look on the bottom of the iceberg, because it's nowhere to be found on the tip. Oh, so this must have been one of them scenes that I didn't see in Titanic, since we're talking about icebergs. Once again, not a movie. Just a metaphor about the internet, basically. You're always on the internet. Yes. Reload. Yes, but this is not like no ordinary YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit type of internet. This is where the big dogs are at. Uh, I have to make sure I be safe while I do all this because I don't want to have to deal with more cycles. We already did with one, so I don't have time to be dealing with 23 of them. Yeah, and you want to figure out how to get my powers. Why? Just Wouldn't so I, that just make you one of the cycles? Uh, not necessarily. It will only give me information of how and where is everybody able to obtain these. Can anybody obtain these? You Dude, know? I'm slow. So, um, that's the only reason I'm not a psychopath with powers. But you know, with great power comes great responsibility. Once that's again. Spider. Anyway, once again, it's a movie. I get it. Revolution. Um, other than that, we should be in right about now. Alright, look at this. It says, anyone who has the ability to chant this cast without no sense of mental awareness will be able to obtain any power of their desire due to their personality, traits, and DNA. For some reason, I felt like you took a shot. The only thing I caught out of that without mental awareness. So are you saying that anyone who's dumb? Hmm, maybe. I mean, Dude. I mean... I mean, how did you obtain your powers? Do you even remember? Internet. 
I mean, what was your mental awareness while going onto the internet? Wait, hold on. Look at this. Due to mental awareness, this doesn't mean low IQ. It means... Huh? Hold on. I think I was inebriated. Nah, I wasn't drunk though. Oh, okay. So basically, when it comes to mental awareness, they mean they're, they mean you're conscious. It says right here, it says after unconsciousness. So I'm guessing after you chant the cast, you'll be unconscious for a while, I guess. Mm -hmm. Which probably explains why I haven't seen you in a while. Hmm. Well, if that if that's the case... Wait, wait, wait. You should have powers too, because you were the one sleeping outside. So how did you fall asleep out there? That's the question. I'm not too sure. I don't even remember chanting no cast, so I don't, I'm not too sure. Dude, if I find out that your power is the fact that you split into two different people, that means that you're a psychopath, and that means that I'm probably going to have to find another roommate. Mm. That would be that would be the case, but that's a small chance. But a small chance? <laughs> it just said, fall unconscious. You were unconscious outside. You did wake up outside. Mm. Then we had a freak inside of our apartment who looked just like you. You know what? Regardless, I think that might be your power. Regardless of a night, man, I'm not too sure because I hardly remember that. I would remember something like that. But the only thing we can find out if it actually works is to give it a try. So let's go ahead and give it a try, I guess. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. My girl called me, man. Hey, I didn't do the cause, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna hurt my baby in a minute, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The fuck? Nani? This is kind of kinky, but what the fuck is going on? Nice to see you again, Mr. Just One Disagree. As you can see, I have your lovely girlfriend sitting right next to me. She's a pretty young thing, way better than the last one. I just, I'm sorry, I just have to say. But if you want to see her with all her hair still intact, you should think that I put in a little bun for her because her hair was a mess. But if you want to see her again and you want to see her face intact along with her hair, you do as I say. Meet me at this address and I'm going to text it to you right now, okay? That is, if you care about her. But don't worry, if not, 